Hi, today I'm going to do a kind of back to work sort of makeup. It's going to be, um, because it's the end of the summer, it's not going to be too autumnal, it's going to be easing you back into more autumnal makeup um, and it's definitely more of a sort of professional look so it's quite good for college or, or work. So I'm going to start using um, some hydrating primer because my skin is feeling a bit dehydrated because I'm just back from my holiday and um, my skin, I got a little bit of colour, I don't normally, I try not to on my face but I did get a bit of colour and um, I've had a couple of spots as well since I've been back so I've got a few marks and a little bit patchy. So for the foundation I'm going to use this uh, new Bobbi Brown, it's natural finish, it's a long lasting foundation. I quite like this because it's a good sort of everyday foundation, so good for work because it's long lasting, but also because the finish is very, it's not too dewy, it's not too shiny, so it looks quite professional and quite sort of pulled together. So I'll apply it with a um, number seven foundation brush. It's a little bit lighter than my skin is on my chin because I've got quite dark with being in the sun around that area. Oh, I did use my um, Institute Estoderme No Pigmentation Sun Cream, which worked brilliantly. So that's just a really thin layer of liquid foundation. It's a nice one because it just looks very, very natural. Um, because I'm thinking this is an all-day sort of work makeup, I'm going to do it it's more in stages so that you're able to touch up quite easily. So I've got the liquid foundation sheer, and then I'm going to use a um, concealer. I'm just going to use an e.l.f. concealer today with a Revlon concealer brush, and I'm just going to use it everywhere that I kind of need to. So I'm really a bit blotchy around here at the moment so I'm just going to cover and even out if you do this once in the day you shouldn't have to touch this up if it's done properly so just really any large areas where there's pigmentation just pat it on make sure the colour is matching obviously the rest of the skin and then if you have any really small little spots I'm going to use this tiny little eyeliner brush screen face just to really conceal those smaller annoying spots I'm also just going to use it on a couple of these marks Okay, so let's even things out. Now I'm going to use some of the Double Wear Powder Foundation. I'm going to use this just as a powder to set everything. But also it's good because once you've done this once, if you just take this out with you, which is obviously really portable, um, you can use that as your touch-up for the rest of the day. So you won't have to kind of, um, you know, if you, especially if you're going to go out straight from work, it'll last you all day and then you can just um, not have to carry liquid foundation and concealer and everything. And what this does, it it obviously sets the makeup and it makes it matte but also it gives it a little bit of extra coverage as well so quite good if you've got um, a few spots or something so I'm just going to use it really lightly down the centre of my face I'm going to put a little bit of extra on my chin just where I've done all the concealing there okay now I need to do my under eyes I should have done that actually before the powder getting carried away with myself. I'm going to use um, Eye Bright by Benefit um, just because it's kind of easy to use. I can take it with me to work um, for touch-ups and it's quite easy to apply so for a kind of morning makeup getting ready to go to work it's it's very very easy to use. I'm only going to use it really just in the absolute corners where I'm dark, so I'm not going to put tons on. And I find because it's got that slightly lavenderish base, it's really good to sort of get rid of any sallow eye bags. Okay, now for the eyes, I'm going to keep them quite simple, but I'm not going to make them too autumn because it is kind of 
a bit just back from holiday want my makeup to look sort of a bit more autumnal a bit more worky but don't want it to look um really heavy so I'm going to use one of these makeup forever aqua creams and I love this color it's sort of a minky silvery color um, with a little bit of a taupiness as well so I'm going to use it all over my lid you could actually easily put this on with um, fingers as well it's really so easy to blend and why I'm choosing it as well is it's going to last all day so along with your foundation you're not going to have to worry about it once you get to work be thinking what's my makeup doing and i'm just going to keep it this shape really simple using a mac 217 all over the lid and just blend the edges there a little bit with fingers i think that's quite a good color for sort of works it's not too boring because it's got a little bit of shimmer in it and it's quite an interesting shade so it still feels especially if you've still got a little bit of color from your holiday uh, it still feels nice and sort of light but at the same time it's kind of quite business-like as well so what's nice about that is it's super quick obviously it took me less than half a minute to do both eyes now it's set it's not going to go anywhere so you don't have to worry about that for the whole day um, I think it looks quite pretty I'm going to use the same thing underneath I'm going to use a Sephora brush just to line along the bottom this is a smoky liner brush so exactly the same product take it right into the corner because it's got that nice shimmer to it Okay, so I think I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not even sure if I want to use any liner. I think that might be enough once I've got my mascara on. So I'm going to go ahead and use mascara. I will curl my eyelashes first. This is the Kevin O'Quan Curlers. And you do a really good job on the curling. Again, it should last all day. I'm going to try this mascara, which is the Ico Mascara Big Eyes, long and luscious lashes. Let's see. I've used it once before, and I, I did like the brush. It's a really cool little twisty brush. You get quite a lot on quite quickly. Sorry about all the noise in here today. There's uh, several nine and eleven year olds jumping around upstairs and I've asked them to be quiet but uh, it's not working I think that's nice that mascara I like the brush the twisty brush I love the, this eyeshadow, I must admit. I love the colour and also how easy it was to put on. I think it just gives you enough definition. Okay, I'm probably not going to do any eyeliner, but obviously if you need to use eyeliner and you're used to using it then um, for everyday use, then go ahead and use eyeliner. I think I'm, I think I'm going to leave it like this, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to do my brows now and I'm going to use um, a pencil. I want my brows to look really sort of nicely done. So I'm using a MAC lingering pencil. And I'm just going to fill in any little gaps there and just give myself a bit more of a nice arch. I think it's nice sort of for a, a work makeup that you've got a good brow. I think it looks really professional and pulled together and also it just kind of obviously frames your eyes brilliantly. Okay, so next I am going to use some blusher. I'm going to use a slightly tawny one. And this is a nude brown and it is by L'Oreal. It's just one of their little individual ones. And I'm going to use it slightly sculpty and slightly um, blushery as well. So I'm just going to start very lightly on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm just going to slightly bring it 
towards the hairline but have it kind of disappear to nothing. Same on the other cheek. I'm almost not touching the skin, it's just so soft. And I think for work makeup, you don't want anything that's kind of going to jar because it's it just sort of takes over. For something that when you're trying to explain your point or talk about something and you've got kind of really obvious blush or really obvious something, it just kind of takes away from what you're saying. And I think a good kind of work makeup just makes you look like you've sort of made an effort and you look great um, and you look pretty but it's not something that becomes an absolute talking point it's not something that's going to enter the room before you do so for the lips it is still the end of the summer and I don't really feel like a very autumnal statement lip for this look um, and also because it's a work look or a college look and you don't want to have to be wearing a statement lip that you have to keep going to check to make sure it's not on your teeth and you know those very high maintenance lips uh, can be look great but are a lot of work so I'm going to use one of the pure sheer uh, lip treatments from NARS and this is Angelique so it's um, it's quite a tawny shade but it's it's going to be very sheer hopefully I've not really tried it before I'm going to start by just going all over my lips from the bullet mm, it feels really lovely and now I'm just going to use a brush just to get a little bit more shape into my lips. Well, I think that's quite a good kind of everyday makeup for work it's all completely long lasting so the base is going to stay you're not going to need to take much in your handbag what I would suggest is that you take the powder foundation because you can use that to mattify your skin but also if you need any touch-ups if you're going to go out in the evening you can use it for a little bit of coverage obviously the lipstick but again that's going to be nice and easy to touch up and it's much easier to update something like this for the evening because this is going to last as I say I can just put on a dark pencil smudge it in a little bit and straight away I'm kind of ready to go out so um, yeah look for long lasting products and um, I think just keep it keep it like a sort of more polished version of yourself and sort of slightly professional but not too boring um, I hope you like it and I hope that was helpful